Here's another example of a limit problem involving piecewise functions. We're given this function, f of x is equal to 2x minus 5 if x is greater than 1 half, and 3kx minus 1 if x is less than 1 half. And this number k here, that's some constant, some number that we don't know. We're going to find it. The problem is to find a value for k such that the limit exists at x equals 1 half. Well, for the limit to exist at x equals 1 half, the left and the right hand limits both have to be the same. So the value of f of x as x approaches 1 half from the right, here when x is greater than 1 half, this has to be the same as the value of the function when x approaches 1 half from the left, when x is less than a half, and that's this. So I'm going to say these two things have to be equal. 2x minus 5 must equal 3kx minus 1 when x is 1 half. So that's easy just to take that idea and write it as an equation. You're just going to write 2 and then I'm going to plug in 1 half for x. 2 times 1 half minus 5 equals 3k times 1 half minus 1. And now we're down to basically an Algebra 1 problem. We can solve this for x. So this is 1 minus 5 equals 3 halves k minus 1 and add 1 to each side and that gives us negative 3 is equal to 3 halves k. I combined those two and I added 1 to get rid of this and then you can find k. k equals negative 2 and that's the answer. Notice we solved that without graphing. If you want to graph it, graphing it is never a bad idea uh, as long as you have time but there's a, a value here x equals one half where the definition of the function changes and so there's there's one linear function this is just a x not a x squared or anything there's a linear function when x is greater than one half and another one when x is less than one half and we have to find a value for k here so this one when x is less than one half so that it has a certain slope so that they match up and we can see what they actually look like in this case this is 2x minus 5 uh, looks something like this it goes intercepts here at negative 5 and is going to do something like this so that's the function when x is greater than 1 half and then when x is less than 1 half it has a slope here of negative 6 this is 3 times k negative 6x minus 1 so it's going to do like this there's actually a open circle right there this function is not defined at x equals 1 half x is either less than or greater than 1 half but as we approach a value of 1 half from the right we're approaching a certain y value right there and as we approach a value of 1 half from the left along this section we're approaching the same y value and k has to be negative 2 in order for that to work